Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, Candace is a sicko for sure. Yeah, we didn't have enough stuff, so I found a cell for us to go to this morning. Yeah, y'all see all this stuff here? and uh, I mean, well, y'all y'all know what's going on. Usual, really. The truck is loaded down right now. And I, I, mean, I mean, I'm acting like this is out of the ordinary. It's pretty much just how we are. Yeah, we're sickos. Uh, yeah, we're, we're something wrong with us. No, one of our favorite um, storage unit auction guys uh, had his sale starting today. We always go to his sale. We like to... He always has good stuff, and we like to kind of keep that relationship going with him. So, yeah. Um, we definitely, we went out today. We did pick up a few things. Um, we have four orders to go out, so we're going to pull those, and then we're going to show you. No, we have we five. Go. Five. We have five. Oh, that's right. We yeah. have five. Yeah, I left this. I'm, yeah. I left this printing last night, and. Uh, we saw that on Etsy. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> so, we get. Um, Basically, we get about, we make a little over $10 net profit on each one of these we sell. Uh, we've sold 13 of them okay. now. So, yeah. uh, it's not huge money. It's a little something, a little Etsy I know, seller. but it's basically like pennies in the material. Yeah, the yeah. material costs, we're probably looking at about 50 cents in filament. Yeah. And then I'll offer it in several different colors and then yeah. just print it up. I have it, I think I have those on like three-day handling or something like that so yeah. it's not it takes like it takes like nine hours to print yeah so so yes we have five orders going <laughs> yeah on. that's one of them bye bye so yeah we're gonna uh pull the orders and then we'll show you what we found this morning all right first order going out is a real tape on 10 alpha sly in the family stone okay and <clears throat> I was happy not to have too much to pack today. However, I'd also be happy to go ahead and get back on the uh, making a lot of sales yeah, train but there. We have a lot to list. We do. We have a lot to list, and we're gonna have a lot of time to list today. Okay, got it. Forty dollars for that. All righty. Boy, they, those reels, huh? Yeah. Man. Yeah, we saw the Tora Lee, and I forgot to check. Tora Lee, where is she at? Okay. We sold a Tora Lee Monster High doll. I will get that. Cut okay. Up. All right. So Tora Lee doll sold for twelve dollars. Okay. Hey Charlie, we sold a Remington statue, the cowboy. Okay. Oh, this is. I actually touched this one the other day, so it worked. Uh -huh. See? Yeah, I see. Would you go around and touch all the nutcrackers? No. <laughs> Not on camera anyway. <laughs> that sold for $84.37. Yeah, we bought, I don't know, I think we bought like six of these or something yeah. at an estate sale. I have no idea how many we have left. I think this might be the third one we've sold. Okay. So we're in the profit on it. It wasn't quite. It wasn't like a home run. It, it, it kind of was, sort of, but it's it's a real slow, it's, it's like a home run. If you hit the if you hit the ball, and it took it like um, a year for the ball to go get out of the stadium, or it's that kind of home it was run. Like a ground ball, and then the guy missed it, and the guy before behind him missed it. I don't know. I don't know. That baseball. would be errors. I don't know baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next item: flatware drawer. It is a candle snuffer. $12 for that. I had it listed for 15 and they sent me an offer and I counter-offered. Okay. For $12. I'm happy to sell this little guy for 12 It is cool though. It's yeah. got a very ornate little handle. Yeah, it's and... a nice, the bell, the etching on the bell is pretty. That was from uh, Kevin and Danielle, one of the buys of a little way back. Alright, that's it, right? Well, yeah, the Monster High doll. And, wow. Yeah. Slam pickings, literally. Yeah, get the package so we can show them what we got. Yeah, we got some more stuff to not sell. All right. <laughs> okay, packages are away. Uh, got those packed pretty quickly, obviously. And here is our stuff. How much did we pay for all this, Candace? 29 for everything up here. Okay, that's a little cheaper than what we've been paying. Yeah. <laughs> 29 bucks. Th this thing is pretty cool. This, uh, what is that? The train case. Sam it's a Samsonite. It does have some, like small condition issues outside yeah but check out the uh tray how clean 
and it's got the mirror and it's 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 got a little what's in that pouch it's a sewing kit oh okay they love some stuff in here gotcha. i was hoping this was the key to the train case but um well you know what lonnie it says samsonite yeah uh, I, I figured yeah. that. Yeah. you know what's really nice the elastic is not worn out yeah it's still stretchy wow okay yeah. so we paid two dollars for it yeah all right that was a pretty good deal mm -hmm. one of those okay no it latches fine huh? yep. okay um this is a i didn't even see some of this stuff lonnie was piling it up and i didn't even get to see some of it well when i see a sony handy cam i buy a sony handy cam i'll yeah. tell you that ten dollars for it it looks like it's got the power supply and the other goodies in here did you i don't know i didn't look t too much there's a couple other pockets where there could be some stuff there hundred dollars two hundred dollars what? what is that camcorder cleaning, cleaning kit. kit okay so somebody and there's a battery in here yeah uh, that's it yeah okay all right these are all books about hunting bow hunting big books it's uh it's a north american hunting club if you have the whole set you're talking about a good bit of money yeah here so they're, they look like they're in pretty good condition too yeah i mean they're not huge they're, now these are not gun these these are not like the super expensive gun books i had before they're pretty decent though that might be a $25 little stack of books there. So I paid six and there's eight of them. Okay. This was in a dollar bin. No, you got that wrong. Paid eight and there's six of them. Yeah, I said it backwards. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this was in a dollar bin because we don't have enough Crown Royal bags. But it's stuck. They're all colored ones too. Yeah, huh? there's Different a couple colors. of purple, but yeah, look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So. I'll just make one lot out of I those. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. We have a Bible. It looked like it was in really good shape. I, I've glanced. I didn't look at it too long. What did you pay for this? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. I mean, he said the price when we got up there for everything. You added up to 29 and it was the amount that... It, okay, it does have dedications mm. in there. The amount that he said was sounded reasonable to me, so I didn't like try and figure out what he was charging for stuff. Yeah. So... And then we have a few cookbooks. Um, this is a First Baptist Church somewhere. Let's see where it is. Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh. Anytown, USA. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. We we caught them finally. Yeah. A collection of recipes by First Baptist Church. They forgot Church. to change the info in there. One two three Main Street, Anytown, USA. That's funny. And ah, this, this is not like caught them. Unless it's like a sample, but no, look. There's a pastor in here who wrote a little, uh, or they put his name on it, I guess. Yeah. Ah. And then Albemarle is a, um, a plant down here in South Louisiana, like a construction plant. Yeah, check that Don Seafood out over there. And I've never seen this um, like I a binder style Don Seafood cookbook. Yeah. And it's got pictures. I'm assuming maybe that's where he got it. You know what? I'm guessing that's going to be decent. What are all those women? Are they, or were they uh, peeling oh, crawfish? What oh, is that? Yeah. No, shelling pecans. Something like, yeah. I can't tell what they're. Let me see. Looks like a bunch of nurses too. Huh? Look what they're wearing. I can't tell what. I think it might be crawfish. It probably is because of the subject of the cookbook. Yeah. Yeah, it's got cool pictures. That's in a here. neat cookbook. Yeah. Look at this Don's truck. I'm wondering if this might not might be worth a little something. Don's Crawfish Ranch House. Yeah. Hmm. All right, but yeah, twenty nine dollars for all the stuff up here. Obvious, obviously, the big one is this. Hope, hoping this works. Yeah. Because uh, this it looks, looks like pretty clean. It does. Uh, the the grip. This is not that uncommon. The pleather grip is wearing out, but otherwise, it looks like it's in good shape. Let me see what model. It's a TRV 37. Yeah, it does, but I'm not going to. I've sold them before like that. I mean, just the outer part, because then mm -hmm. there's still a strap there, huh? Yeah, I've, I've done, yeah. You I'll probably just, it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get to listing. Yep. I'm going to test that here in a few minutes. Hopefully mm -hmm. it works. All right, guess what, y'all? Score, it works perfectly. I just did tested it out. I'm actually uh, shot a quick demo vid. I'm uploading that now. It's almost done. I'm going to give it a little wipe down, take a few photos, and list it. I don't even know what it's worth yet. I still haven't comped it. 
Candace is working on some stuff from Kevin Danielle by. No, yeah, this is from that, that little old electronic football game. And the, yeah, these little figures sell pretty good. Um, I, I'm going to do an auction instead of trying to piece it all out. And I still think it to do well. I saw an auction recently in for $50 with probably like this much stuff, not too much, you know. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to do pretty well with it. Okay. Auctions are fun. Yep. Give it a shot. And my video is almost done. Well, we just got our, uh, we used our eBay quarterly shipping supply coupon that you get if you have an eBay store, I think uh, basic store on up. I think that's what it is. I think the basic store is 20. The starter store doesn't get a coupon at all. Basic, I believe, is 25. And then premium is 50. And that's what we have. That's the level store we have is premium. So this is what we got this time. 10 by 8 by 6. I've been using these boxes the past month or so. So I have the other ones here. Got a total of 50. Got a total of 50 for like $46. Um, I'm finding I use this size box a lot with uh, the parcel post now. And it's, it's a good size when you don't need like 12, 12, 12 or something. Okay, so this thing is really cool, right? Yep. The graphics. Candace told, and we found one. I found one on um, eBay. Terra Peak. Oh, well, on eBay within the last 90 days sold. Right, but it, it sold uh, with the best offer. So I looked at Terra Peak, found out they sold theirs for 45, mm -hmm. uh, which is good. Like I'm happy, with, I'm, I'm gonna probably list mine for 50. Yeah. Just to give some room in case I end up selling on 10% offer or something, right? Just, and plus I think it could sell for 50. I, I think so too, 40, 45. And then you 50. saw another one, right? I saw one more on Worth Point in 2019. It sold for so, how much? Uh, 65 is what worth point, but as we've explained before, worth point is not always accurate because if they took a best offer, it only reflects their listing oh. price. Yeah. So if they took a best price, it won't show that. So they listed it for 65. We don't know if that's what they got. So anyway, I, was, I asked Candace to give me the title from that one because she had it pulled up. So she called it out. And as, as I was getting it, getting it done, she made me add this to it rare i don't know what do y'all think means rare does that mean it's the only one of its kind i don't know i don't know what like what is what what is your uh what is your rule for, like like how rare does for you to put rare in an ebay title how rare does it need to be my our bar is probably way lower than what it would well, be usually for me it means no actives and no solds within like the last 90 days at least well, so this doesn't qualify it doesn't qualify but however usually when you go to worth point there are more there's only one so, yeah i mean i i think it is justified in this case okay i do okay all right if the rare police knock on this door tomorrow okay okay let's google rare if the rare definition. no it's okay no you don't have to google rare i have to prove my point no i don't think you're wrong I just don't like, I think it's subjective. I don't, I think it's. It is, it is subjective. What, what does it say? Not found in large numbers and consequently of interest or value. Okay, and then also above oh, that it says. that's similar, hey, wait. Above that it says not occurring very often. That's, that says similar. Okay, but the actual definition is not occurring very often. Yeah, so that fits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, good enough. Yeah. Rare. Rare Navy Exchange Plate. I like it, I told Lonnie, because I feel like when you have something that's not easy to find like that, it creates a sense of urgency. Like well, there is one. If somebody's interested in it, they'll be like, okay, it's rare. I better buy it. I may not find another one like that. I, you know what it is? I think, I think it's like, I think people, like most people would consider that uncommon. And then like this Thunder Inn sign... That's a one of a kind. That's not rare. That's uh, one of a kind. You're not going to find another one like that. That's true. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, all right. Was this why, worth? Why do you argue with me? You're never right. I just like to. I'd like to question things just to make sure everything's good. Everything's are, right. Are is you it okay? satisfied, sir? I am. It is. That is a rare tray. <laughs> okay. I'm listing my Alice pack. 
And look. Wait, wait, do y'all know what an Alice pack is? Yeah, it's a, it's the pack. Well, it's right here. I like had this. never heard of it, so I just, you know. It's an LC1 is the model number. That's it right there. I already put it away. Yeah. But we got this from Kevin and Danielle. It came with the frame. And it also came with a couple of backpack straps. But they are not the backpack straps that go with the pack. Yeah, I don't even know if they're issue. They were like they were camouflaged, but they didn't have any issue numbers on them. Correct? No, the the straps are supposed to have the the numbers on them, just like yeah. the pack does. Right. And we could tell the year. Kevin actually he showed us, us this, this little trick. Yeah. DSA one hundred dash seventy four dash blah blah blah. This number after that hundred seventy four. That's the year of issue. Yeah. So that thing is from nineteen seventy four and. When I tell y'all it is meant, I don't think it was ever used. Yeah, you know, like backpacks, you'll see some signs of use, like on the bottom from or, setting it down. Right. Nothing. It nothing like meant. that. So it's mint condition. Mm -hmm. It's older. It's one of the older ones from 1974 Vietnam era. So I want to auction it because I think it might be fifty to seventy-five dollars, but I also think. I I think potentially you're looking at worth point I think it's more like 150 to 200 That's but but the whole time I was not going to auction it she was telling me it was worth 50 but that was before I started looking on worth point not a lot of these older ones available no especially not in this condition correct so I finally decide on okay I'm gonna start an auction so then Candace I say Candace you think I ought to start at a penny <laughs> or do you think I ought to start at 50 now listen every auction we ever do we start at a penny and we have sold some stuff for a penny. <laughs> we have? Yes. Yep. So do you think it's too risky? I don't think... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I want you to start it at 50. I, I feel like that's going to limit the or interest. at least 25. What do you... Oh. I'm going a penny. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I'm okay, wait, wait, what do you what do you think is going to be the result of this this auction? I mean, I don't think you. I don't think you ever get top dollar with auctions. That's just my uh, opinion. I think you might if you have something different, because of the year and the condition of this pack. I think it it may be something they fight over, or maybe not. I don't know that much about it. Yeah. I don't know how special it is. And you need to make sure your frame is available for sale at the same time, so they buy that too. Yeah, we also have a frame, and the reason I'm not putting it together is because it's pretty it's fairly typical for people not to there's no date uh there is a date on the uh kidney pad thingamajig so i don't know i don't know if there's a date on the actual frame or not let me see what is the date on this frame on this kidney pad thing okay this kidney pad is 1998 okay so this did not originally go with that Alice pack. That frame is like mint also, huh? Eh, nah, it's got a few scratches. Yeah. So we're going to sell, the frame is probably worth about 50 bucks or so. I'll probably list that separate. And you can, there's all kind of straps for sale on eBay. So if somebody needs straps, wants to buy it without the straps, they can go buy straps. Yeah, and I feel better about separating the pack and the frame now mm -hmm. too, because they're they won't be they're 25 years apart in age not only that but they may be misled thinking they can use it without straps and you can't you know right right so all right i'm gonna let her fly at a penny and see what happens candace is like Whoo. you have to put a reserve i never understood reserves. i'm not no i'm not gonna put a reserve i never understood all reserves do is piss people off when they bid that's all it does i don't get the point of if it. you have a reserve just start with that that's my opinion but anyway median sold price 35. that's the one i listed it similar off of it, they suggest you start your bid at 14 maybe you get, should do that get where, out of here where did they get that number 14 that was arbitrary <laughs> <laughs> oh and people do free shipping okay or no does that mean zero percent means they don't zero percent free shipping yeah no, okay. yeah all right so i got i'm gonna list a few more things and we are going to see y'all in the morning hopefully with piles and piles of ebay orders we have to pull yeah although i think we only have three or four right now right. so far maybe we'll have a good night tonight though you never know you never know good morning everyone it is thursday now good morning candace good morning so uh we've been seeing a lot of questions about the change to ground advantage and yes, um, 
apparently eBay is automatically uh, for a month supposedly this is how I understand it anyways for a month um, we don't any of our first class package listings uh, are automatically going to show up to the buyer as ground advantage and then when we print the label it's going to be ground advantage that's all taken care of but the way I understand it after 30 days from July 9th we will have had to have changed those first class listings ourselves. or when the buyer goes to buy it there won't be an option to ship right that's what that's, that's the way that's, we understand it right. okay could now have it all wrong or that could be false information out there now the communication about the whole ground advantage thing was um not real clear from the start in my opinion if they would have said exactly if ebay would have said exactly how this was going to work in a way that people understood at least i feel this way um that it would have been much easier mm -hmm. because like it, it so far it's been seamless right because you didn't if you didn't do anything you would be okay right now it and i did all, not it was all like anxiety speculation what's going to happen we don't know what's going on yeah i did not know it was going to be like that because i don't feel like it was communicated like that i'm also not sure why if for now the first class package listings eBay is taking care of that why would they stop taking care of that yeah like why why is why is there something if they can do something now why can't they still do whatever that thing is that they're doing a month from now I feel like they're I feel like the do the, their software developers and their marketing team and I just feel like they aren't communicating. I, I feel like we never got like the real, yeah. the real method of what we're supposed to do. Like, here's what you need to do step by step. Like, uh, anyways, I'm saying all this to say that ultimately, what what everyone has to do, um, your your parcel post listings, though those would have changed to ground advantage automatically, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But supposedly the way i understand anyway we have 30 days to switch all of our listings that offer first class shipping first class package shipping um those all need to be changed to ground advantage in the next 30 days yep. so i wanted to share with y'all the method that i used i did this actually the other day candace wasn't even in here it was like you did a lot of listings it yeah. took it, it took me like 30 minutes or less it was it was way less of a uh task than i thought it was going to be so let me show you how i did it so this is our main just active listings page and i'll just do this category as an example um because i know it has some good ones in it that aren't going to be first class so I'll, I'll take each category usually i would do like three or four at a time but in this case i'm just going to do um sports equipment and i go category by category and here we go here's the sports equipment we have 28 items in this category and the first thing I do is I just go ahead and select this box here to highlight all the items in the category. And then I'm going to just scroll through. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for anything that either is media mail or anything that I think there's a chance it might be UPS. Now, if it, there's a chance it might be UPS, I don't really have to verify if I don't want to because if I think it might be UPS and it turns out it wasn't, then that means that the shipping method that's in, in the system now is either priority or parcel. There's no chance I don't know if something's first class mm -hmm. or UPS, right? Like if it's not UPS, it's not gonna be first class. Right. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what I do first of all, select every, all the items in the category, and then I'm just going to scroll through, and anything that I think could be, like, I'm not even sure about this Alice pack. 
let's just pretend I'm not. I I think we listed that with um, ground with ground advantage because that's a fairly new listing. But like uh, these shoulder pads, those are those are probably UPS. We keep going. These skates might be UPS. These might be also. This might be. The bat might be. More shoulder pads. Another bat. These are all going to be like um, first class or priority or parcel. Everything else. I'm not even sure about those. But I know these are going to be first class, right? Mm -hmm. So now I've taken out anything that I think might be UPS, which is actually a lot in this one. I would do the same thing if there was if there was media in here I would deselect that too. Now everything else I'm fine with just changing to ground advantage. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Let this screen load up. Select all bulk edit domestic shipping. Change to calculated that's what we choose to do and then we just need shipping service ground advantage save and then I just look on this screen uh, calculated ground advantage and apply and then I submit all and submit and then it puts it through so basically the, the way we're looking at it to simplify things we're gonna have three different ways we ship for the most part, it's going to be ground advantage, mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. ups. Yep. That's it, right? Yep. And your, uh, then your sports cards, that's a different, yep. that's a whole other ballpark. That's true. Yep. That's true. Um, Standard envelope. So all the sports card listings that were under 20 uh, or 20 or 19.99 or under, I left those alone because those are already eBay standard envelope. Sports cards listings that were over $20, uh, I did have to go and change those all to ground advantage. Yeah, those so were... when you select that category, you can sort by price, high to low. That's true. To make it easier. That's yeah. true. If you did sports card, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So are, are a few things going to slip through the cracks here? Yeah, it's, there's, it's, there's potential for that. The only category I have not messed with yet um, I did the whole store yesterday except for nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. And we know that like none of our nutcrackers are gonna be first class. So right. the only question with the nutcrackers is the ones that are UPS or no the one the smaller nutcrackers that are currently priority need to go to ground advantage. Do we want to make those ground advantage? Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm leaving that up to Candace. And there's no there's no time pressure on doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, because they'll ship either way, long as, right? Long as they're not first class, right? Which they're not. Yeah. Yep. So I, hopefully, hopefully that's clear what we've what we've been talking about. Um, I, the, I don't know. The ones that you're thinking um, may not be UPS. They're just going to stay at priority, which or whatever they are. Yeah. But we can we can go through a second time. And audit that stuff too. Yeah, if you think it may be better for ground event, like the nutcrackers. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's ultimately for us the way since we don't use business policies at least yet, uh, there is kind of some manual uh, manual labor involved there. Like I don't know, clicking yeah. on it is not manual labor, but uh, yeah. That's how we that's how we did it, and you know. I, I think that's the a good way to do it. How are y'all doing this? If uh, you don't have business policy. Yeah, I know some people you, uh, have said like they've gone in to edit a listing and there's a little box that says you have this many listings that we could apply this to. I think that that means you're probably in business policy right. and don't realize it because we've never had that option. Nope. Yeah. Nope. All right. We do have uh, some orders going out today. So let's go ahead and get to pulling. Okay, I think all we have is eBay today. Yes, we have nine eBay orders going out. Uh, the first one is a cookbook on three Charlie cooking behind the fence. Okay. Must be right here. Yes. Yeah, cooking. Wait, what was that place? Uh, it was something to do with 
Oak nuclear, Ridge, right? Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It was basically like a community they had fenced in. Um, I don't know the whole story. I mean, I'm sure it was voluntary. I, I don't know. Some kind of research or something? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a prison. When we first saw this book, I thought it was a prison, but it's some kind of... Yeah, that's what it's called, Behind the Fence, because it was like this community that was like a government thing yeah. going on, whatever. Um, sold that for $13.49. In the Digimon drawer, we sold a brass armadillo. Oh, yeah. Sold that one for 35 yeah, that brass stuff ended up being a heck of a buy, huh? Yeah, a viewer commented that when it comes to brass, your your usual things like ducks and cats and stuff like that are not going to be worth as much. But when you have your unusual animals like armadillos, yeah. those are going to be the ones to keep them. That makes sense. Yeah, because they the, didn't make as much. The thing is, though, the brass stuff at garage sales is usually like super cheap. Right, right. Really cheap, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I like the little uh, crab ashtrays do so well because it's just something unusual. Mm, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Some of those ashtrays, we, we've got a couple of these brass ashtrays down here. Brass like trays. like the crab that opens. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, next item is nine Delta, three Duracell lithium batteries. What? Oh, those. Nine Delta? Yeah. Yeah, this is our first... It's a lot of three. Yeah. This is our first sale out of this little bin. Which means the price might have been too high. What did we get for this? Um, $19.79. Okay. Yep. And then we have some spark plugs on CC11. All right. A lot of two champion. Let's see. Nine, lot of two 978s. 978s? Okay, that'll be pretty quick to find. Maybe. Ah, uh, here we go. 978s, lot of two. Got them? $8 for those. Okay. Put these back. Six Fox Trot, we sold the fire hydrant. Oh yeah, that was a big sale. We had uh more brass. Probably Charlie Delta. All the way down. We had we had someone message us uh last night asking if we'd take 180 for this. And I just couldn't fathom not taking 180 for it, you yeah. know. Yeah. So because we got all the brass for fifteen dollars. For fifteen, well, it was nine pieces of brass, including yeah. this and this. Right. Uh, that we got for fifteen dollars, so it ended up being like a dollar something a piece. So mm -hmm. there's no way, like, you don't buy that. There's no way I, we won't sell that for one hundred and eighty instead of two hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. Because what if what if we said, nah, we'll hold out for two hundred, and then nobody ever bought it, and nobody ever bought it. Yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> the one person in the world right now that wants to i don't think that's the case though i think no. it would have it probably would have sold for um, full it price it must have been a, a save search because because of it selling so quickly. i think it would have sold for full price eventually but yeah. i also knew i couldn't turn 180 down no no yeah. not at all all right in the guy drawer we sold some mr christmas parts uh mary and joseph guy is back here okay i guess these two here huh Yep. Okay. Those sold for ten dollars. All right. We have a Walmart pen, number ninety-six. Okay, I went and pulled that. It looks like is that a District Thirteen Proud or something? It's a Canadian flag. Yep. Okay. Nine dollars for that. All righty. What's next? This item location. Uh huh. Two Charlie dash PC dash F. A lot of 21 McDonald's Barbie Happy Meal toys. Two, what, where is it? Two Charlie? Two Charlie dash PC dash F. Okay, let me see. Two Charlie. I don't know what PC means. I don't either. And what is this supposed to be? Barbie Happy Meal Toys, 21 of them, she said. Let's see. Let's see, what is this? Wonder if this is it. Oh, it is. It's, 
You know what? You know what? PC F. Yeah. I, I, I think you know what I think that meant. That was. I think they. Uh, you probably used this box and just reuse it for something else and then ended up not shipping in that same box mm -hmm. and then i reused it again for the barbie things that's what i'm thinking yeah those sell for twenty dollars and sixty nine cents okay and then in the alien drawer lord of the rings for xbox 360. all right Lord of the Rings Conquest. Got it. Fifteen dollars for that. Okay. And that's everything. Everything. That's another light sales day. Hopefully this this is better than yesterday though. Yeah, well that fire hydrant helped. <laughs> uh yeah, if you take the fire hydrant out, it was a disastrous sales day. Yeah. You keep the fire hydrant in, then it was a uh, you know, was, hey, maybe we'll do yeah. better tomorrow. Yeah. But it wasn't a disaster. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this stuff packed. Okay, we're both listing now. Candace has been tackling this uh, Dyson stuff over here. Actually, is pretty. It looks, seems like it's pretty decent. Yeah, the the power heads are doing pretty good. Like one, I'm. I had two identical ones. One was a little like more used than the other, so I listed one the more used one for thirty, and the one that looked new for thirty five. Then I had another for 15. Anything below that value, I think we're just gonna make one big like parts lot and sell it. Give somebody a good deal, maybe a repairman or something. I don't yeah. know. We have so little into it. Yeah. We got five dollars into all of it. So right. So we're already we've already made good money off of it, just the few listings I've done. And then right now I have Candace kind of helping me. I did I looked at the listings for these. These are the um we went to a garage sale this past weekend ophthalmologist has a, a shop well he has his practice and then an eyeglass shop you know you know how glass places glasses places are and uh he he ended up having all these prada versace and fendi boxes from eyeglasses mm -hmm. that they sold and they just like kept the boxes and i i, I have seen there's quite a few listings and solds for this kind of thing with the actual glasses case and the cleaning cloth. and the cleaning yeah. cloth except all the accessories except for the glasses yeah. however there's not a whole lot of listings or solds for these things without that stuff because all of our boxes are just they're just box they're nice i wonder why they don't give it to the customer isn't that weird yeah if I was a customer, I would like having, I would, yeah, why not? I don't know. I, I would, I would probably not do anything with it, but I think it would be a nice presentation yeah, instead of them just throwing them out or right. throwing them away. Yeah. But, um, I, I did see like this listing, this, this is a sold here, uh, for one of these Prada boxes and it doesn't have anything else. Just that box. They got eight bucks plus shipping, which that's great. Um, but I don't want to sell these one at a time like that. I think that could take forever or never happen. Yeah. So I just came up with, I want, I asked Candace, like, how should I do it? Cause I consider doing them all together, but Candace thinks, and I agree that we should do it by brand. So I'm going to do, I'm going to list these for $3 a box in quantity. So this would be a $50 listing here mm -hmm. There's 17 boxes this is uh the fendi ones we have what eight this would be 24 dollar listing and then the versace would be four five six seven eight nine that'd be like 20 27 dollar listing so you know what i could see somebody using these for um like having a like a party like a fat a little girl's fashion theme party or something and use them for party favors or decoration or whatever i don't know I have no idea. I don't know what somebody would do with them, but hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, somebody buys them. <laughs> yeah, no, we're it's worth trying. Mm -hmm. um, gonna make just gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. They may not sell, and they may sell. We'll find mm -hmm. out. If they do all sell, that'd be like a hundred dollars in sales uh, that we got for free. Yeah. <laughs> so it's worth a shot. Yep. And I, I think I think it might it may surprise us. This kind of stuff surprises me sometimes. Oh, yeah. But like, just like you got to be careful as a reseller not to project like your what you think is cool or what you think is valuable too much on your customers because to be honest like 
I wouldn't buy hardly any of the stuff we sell. Sometimes we sell things and like, what is somebody going to do with this? Or what, why do they want that? But that's on, you know, that's on them. There's something for everybody out there. I always say that. Or Yeah, but I mean, like, I think we always kind of just assume that other people think like we do. And that just is not the case. Yeah, I know. It isn't the case at all. <laughs> well, I mean, for example, those were, this was like 10 o'clock. We rolled up to this garage sale and they were still sitting there. So for free, for free, along with that briar horse. <laughs> yeah, the briar, a $40 or $50 briar horse was sitting right next to them in a free box. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. All right, I'm gonna get these listed, and uh, we're just trying to chunk away at this stuff because we got a lot of it. Okay, while we were recording that clip, Candace, I, I, I set my phone down and I must have hit the like. I had a text open and I must have hit like the dictate button or something. Yeah. So it was recording everything we were saying. It, it's it's kind of, it's frightening. And it's kind of funny though. Um, let's see. Candace has been tackling this Dyson stuff over here. Yeah, the power hazard I had to identical was when I was a little like more using the other for 30, 35. Then I had another for 15 anything below we're just gonna make one big part slot and sell it give somebody a good deal baby <laughs> we did not say that i probably said maybe we have so little into it yeah we have five dollars in all of her <laughs> where, where are you and then right now i have candace kind of helping me i did i looked at the listings for these these are the garage sale this past weekend ophthalmologist has a shop where he has his practice and then an eyeglass shop blah 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 Okay, it got a lot of it right, but man, it made some mistakes. And I, it's just terrible. But you need to learn how to not make your phone do that. I walked uh, over there, and we were still talking, and I look at my phone, and it's just like typing away. I'm like, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> how embarrassing. Well, thankfully, it didn't send what if you sent? What if you that got sent to somewhere you didn't want it, and it was just like a transcript of... <laughs> it looks man. like, to me, like bad AI. Yeah, that's weird. We've still been listing and we ate lunch just now and we got it. Candace has been working on something since yesterday. Yeah, we got a message yesterday. Um, someone had referred someone to us um, about a, a viewer. Yeah, a viewer referred someone to us. This guy had approached him to buy all his inventory and he wasn't interested. So he passed him along to us. And at first, um, the price he came back with me at, I was like, there's just no way, you know, we're just too far apart. He's got a lot of pop culture stuff like Funko, Loungefly, and um, some other miscellaneous stuff. So, yeah, his number was just not for us, and I told him that. Um, but I do know somebody that we may be able to refer him to for the Funkos. But in the meantime, I did ask him, just curious if he'd be willing to sell, like, the Loungefly separately. And um, he said yes, and he sent me a list of what he has, and I kind of comped him real quick and shot him an offer, and he took it. So we're riding over there this afternoon to buy those. And then I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at what he has and see if there's anything else we want to buy. So, yeah. Candace is going through some photos right now. We're doing some eBay comps. Yeah. Trying to figure out, like, we're really not in He's got a ton of a lot pops. A yeah. Pops. And, and they're pops that are, they're, they're decent as yeah. far as pops go. They're not, like. They're not like totally worthless or anything, but it's a lot of ten to fifteen dollar pops. We're just not interested in that right now. No. But like Candace, Candace, you got a really you you negotiated a great deal on the uh, Lounge Fly bags. Yeah. Yeah. Those are worth around seven hundred, and we're gonna pay three hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that sounds great. And, and then it's only it's only five different styles, so and they're all new, so it's five listings, right? You know, multi quantity listings. And then there were a lot of other pictures. There, he has a pretty good bit of other stuff that's not Funko. Um, so that's what we're trying to figure out now. Candace is researching while she eats lunch trying to figure out what else we might be interested in we're going to bring extra money just be prepared to buy more right know. just prepared in case you want because he is motivated he's in a bad spot like it, it sounds like and he didn't tell me what's going on but it sounds like he really needs i don't to mean be. financially i just mean he's got like a ton of inventory yeah. and he's not he's not doesn't he wants to get out of the business yeah but then he's got a pretty good bit of money tied up in it so i get it we're gonna have to feel out like what he's we don't know what he paid for the stuff yeah he has wholesale accounts clearly like with funko at least 
So we're going to see what else we can buy. And uh, hopefully we'll be showing y'all. Well, as far as I know, we're going to be showing y'all for sure a bunch of lounge fly bags. Yeah. Candace loves lounge fly bags anyways. You should see our closet. And these, and these are all Disney. So they, they we won't have any trouble selling them or they won't go like out of fashion. Right. You know? Yep. So, so uh, yeah, we're about to head over there now. Wish us luck. Okay, we are back. We weren't even there that long. Um, yeah, it was quick. It, we were successful. I'm happy. Yeah. He had everything in one spot, and he was very organized. So when we said, what about this? He pulled it right out. And then when we'd throw a number at him, uh, he was real quick to say, to, yes ag or no. to agree or not agree. Yeah, not a lot and, of haggling. And he, yeah, it wasn't a bunch of haggling. And uh, he didn't get bent out of shape if we lowballed him. Nope. Or if he didn't like our number, he didn't get bent out of shape. It was just a yes or no, and everything was real pleasant and easy, and I feel like we did good. Mm -hmm. uh, we spent a total of we spent, well, okay. Uh, we spent five twenty on merch on resale merchandise, and then this is for personal twelve yeah. each on these. I got myself a Joe Burrow uh, pop for twelve dollars, and I bought another one for a buddy for, for twelve dollars. Yeah. So that's just personal buying there. Yeah, and it was kind of a goodwill move on my part for the guy doing, yeah. you know, hooking us up or whatever. So. Show them what you got, Candace. All right, these are Disney traditions. They're um, made by Jim Shore, and I have um, Sally and Jack. Um, look to me. We pay 10 each, and I think they sell for about 35 each. So That's Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now, these are um, a trading card game, D Spirits, and this is the first edition, the Kickstarter edition, these sealed um, sets here. Yeah, we have uh, 18 of them. And as far as we could tell, they sell for like $35 free ship on eBay, which means that 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 means about $27 of wax, something like that. Yeah. And um, we paid, we offered him $10 a, a unit mm -hmm. and he took it. No haggle at all. Yep. He said, I can do that. Yep. So we paid $180 for all of these. Yep. Maybe the riskiest part because this this is kind of a failed game but they they there are solds on there and people are even selling individual cards so there's yeah. still people playing this game it's not like our other kickstarter games that's really obscure we could take a shot with this mm -hmm. i think it was worth a shot i think it'll do well too right before we left we said anything else and he said what about these boots <laughs> well it, it, he got them he said he got them from work his work gave them to him for free mm -hmm. so he said i'm will i'll take any just give me an offer i'll take whatever so that was kind of like normally i would be like a dollar or something but i told us <laughs> i said twenty dollars and he's like sounds good yep. and he took it and look how big they are y'all these are nice that dude they wait i didn't i never looked at that guy's feet but he didn't look like that big of a dude to me he could still have big feet that big he was probably about your height was he yeah okay yeah size 13 is big though and That's, then it's a wide <laughs> okay yeah. man that is a boot there yeah. it's it's very nice though like the leather, the leather smell is, yeah. oh gosh when you open that box it smells like a boot store i just love that <laughs> yeah uh we we reckon uh these are probably we'll probably be up they they retail for a little over 200 i think 150 because of the size yeah yeah i think so so yeah, that that's awesome. Yeah. That kind of that was a nice sweetener right there. Yeah, we weren't expecting to pick up anything. Big like that. time. All so, right. uh, and we were talking. Candace and I were talking on the way home. I was like, "You think we'll get all this stuff listed?" And Candace's like, "Yeah." And she started counting it up. She's like, "Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, and then that's four listings there." And then we have five styles of lounge fly bags. So that's nine listings. We're going to have all this listed like within an hour. Yeah. yeah. So let, let's look at the lounge fly stuff Kane's talking about. All right. And here's the lounge fly stuff. Yep. So we have, um, these are Buzz Lightyear or Star Command. We have what, eight of those? Oh, okay. Yep. I think those are like black light reactive. I get my black light. It's either that or that, whichever that one. That looks black light reactive yeah. if I had to guess. Um, and this is Nightmare Before Christmas. We have five of those. We have three Jasmine and then one uh, Mickey Pumpkin Jack o' Lantern. Okay. So three hundred dollars so, for all this. So we paid three hundred for that. Mm -hmm. We paid one eighty for this. We paid 
20. 20 for the boots and we 20. paid 20 between those two yeah so everything we're into for 520. 520 our rough estimation is that we're gonna sell all this stuff for a gross profit of about 800 yeah right we're, we think we're gonna get around about maybe a little more than 1300 gross proceeds mm -hmm. not including shipping right um so yeah a little over eight hundred dollars gross, gross profit, profit. Mm -hmm. it'll probably look more like 600 or so by the time everything's and taken like into said, account it's, it's only what like eight listings so. yeah it's awesome yeah it's really good mm -hmm. and the 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 pat the shipping is not going to be nothing too right this is nothing it's the ones that aren't bagged well, they, we they have, do have the tag still. We have our little clear bag. We'll store them in. Right. Yeah. We have our little bread bag. I can type. wrap some tissue around them. So. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll just be into a box and then yeah, ship. Yeah, they're new. He just um he took them out of their packaging just to take a photo for his listings. Yeah. So. So the ones you could just you're gonna do the same thing. You'll yeah. use these for the photos, mm -hmm. and then we won't even mention that they come like this. Right. They'll just go out like that, except for this one won't. Yep. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. And then this is easy to ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this, is unless unless we end up getting stuck with all this stuff, which is possible, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried about the lounge fly. He did say he had trouble moving the stuff, but. I was kind of wondering, he has he has a distribution, like a deal with a distributor. I'm wondering if he couldn't go below a certain price, perhaps. Right, if I don't know. he had to stay right around MSRP, we don't know the deal. But he said he had trouble moving them, but I see sold. So, I don't know. We'll maybe, see. maybe we'll find out. Maybe we'll be the ones that are looking for a place to unload this stuff next, huh? Or Sarah and Molly's friends will all get like uh, a yeah. lounge for their birthdays. And have you? Hey, tell me this: Have you ever seen any of the Toy Story movies? Uh, yeah, I think I remember seeing part. Here you go. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this one. We're going to go ahead and sign off now. So uh, we want to end our day by getting all this stuff listed. Yeah. That's going to be some easy numbers on the old spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.